<laughs> Story number one. Here comes more saga and the climate change debate. Stay tuned. Uh, the story has uh, been in the news quite a bit these past few weeks and it's continuously catching the attention between protesters and it's, it's basically giving people the, the, the assumption of what to believe about climate change. Folks, there is, there is so much going on in the news right now when it comes to who do you believe and is climate change real? You know, you have to think uh, when you look at these these I think that was was happening in the big arena of science, religion and just the average thinker is that people who have a lot of leg in the game are saying that there's something happening to the climate, to the atmosphere, that the patterns of wet weather are changing. This this reminds me almost of when the Darwin the Darwin theory, when they talked about evolution, came up. I think that there are so many spectators, so many people when it comes to the ball field of believing if there is a higher power. And, and this debate about climate change is is staying alive. It's been I've, I've at each each week I've seen in quite a few stories so they're talking about what's happening underneath the water new species emerging they're scaring people they're using scare tactics saying that we're going to be around for another 12 years they have all of these these i mean but you have to ask yourself is is this is this factual they i mean you you have record-breaking things happening like they've built 30 they spent 13.6 billion on solar power in Dubai, it's a solar power project. Th then you have all these companies investing in like, I think Adidas is now creating a recyclable sh no shoe. So it, 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 the, even, even with this Green New Deal, so people are saying that climate change is real and that it's gonna affect us in a big type of way. They're even, this climate change material if you want to call it or uh this climate change book is getting so big that it's creating so many different types of 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 it's almost like a you know i was watching um uh i went to the movie theater last night to watch the new movie that just came out and everybody has a theory about time travel and that was basically what the movie, I don't want to give the story away, I'll let you go see it yourself, but the new movie just came out, the superhero movie. But in, in the ball field of evolution, religion, and climate change, and the world, nobody really has a definite answer. Because we, because we as human beings have not been here long enough. We don't even, we're still finding out about civiliza civilizations that were here before us. So people are, are making these, these uh, facts and, and it's creating, it's creating riots, it's creating uh, not just riots, but protests of people there. And it, they're, what they're trying to say is now they're trying to get uh, teachers to start teaching about climate change to children at an early age. Now, back in the day, when I was a child, we did have Earth Day. We did have things that taught us about pollution. And then you just have some kids who just don't care. So that's what you probably... And then you have... But you have all of this new data, all this new research about asbestos and about... They, there was even a story that surfaced about Johnson & Johnson. Uh, they're starting to believe that some powders are causing ovary cancer and things like that. So you, when you look at what's happening in the big arena of just people talking about climate change and talking about the earth is changing you have to ask yourself at the end of the day is is this just another uh fad or a fashion that takes place in an era a time frame so is it being made up they're talking about how uh, California restaurants may add a climate change surcharge. They're also talking about um, uh, how the world uh, the world's second largest penguin colony is starting to disappear. They're talking about polar bears and they're talking about livestock, animals that are changing uh, patterns of behavior. So we have to ask ourselves is, is, this, is this real? Is it, is it just a cycle that happens in Earth? You, I, I mentioned this on a few a few shows back about how back in the day they would have uh, these uh, they would have these uh, droughts. They would have uh, and they they'd have them in the almanac where there'd be a time frame 
where the water would be drying up and then they'd have to they they start doing rain dances. So <coughs> excuse me. Now that we are in this in this new age of technology that science is basically ruling everything out. There's no room for thought. And they're starting to find out this about even children, about people's beliefs and how people are becoming radicalized. So you have all of these pools of thought uh, kind of intersecting and nobody really has a right answer. Nobody has a definite answer. And it's creating so many different ways to teach the next generation that the kids probably will probably be unsure of whether climate change is really real or not. You're going to cut off all carbon emissions. You're going to cut off all fossil fuels to energize the population. People report about solar panels that break. They can't replace them. People report about windmills that don't work, that uh, they spend all this money investing in clean energy. The windmills break down. So how are you going to fuel a population? Then you have people who have got filthy, filthy rich off of this one topic in general. So the climate change saga is just heating up because we're about to go into another election. And folks, People are getting more and more, they're starting to get that common sense and they're starting to really guard their pocketbooks because they don't want to invest in these shams. I mean, if it's a sham, if, if, if it is really real, now I believe in pollution. I believe that pollution is a problem. I believe plastic is a problem. But when you're talking about is, is are the seasons changing or is something happening to the earth Maybe it could be. Maybe we could just be going through a cycle. We don't know. But if, when you talk about man-made climate change ideas and, and how man can actually scam people into believing some things, that is, there has been so many scam artists who have walked the face of this earth that it has been ridiculous. Some people even say uh, a church or religions or something. So that's what I'm saying. When you start... Getting out of out of that atmosphere, you start understanding that there's more going on in the world than what you can actually expect. You could be duped if you don't if you don't read or get an understanding. But this story is is, is just it's just staying in the news about climate change. They have a uh, they have so many uh, stories. There was a story that surfaced in about uh, it's asking, are we losing on climate change? And and it's basically comparing the data, basically saying like. Or like there, there's actually a war going on between climate change and people who have doubts and some people who, ha who are some people saying that we're losing. So there's actually they feel like there's actually a battlefield uh, going on with climate change. And you get you get I'm telling you, you get all these thinkers, you get top level scientists, top top level investors they're they're talking about how greenland is melting and how it's causing sea levels to rise folks this is this is creating so much confusion because nobody knows what to believe they're talking about all of this i mean you're talking about sensitivity at its finest and and, and the, the the whole the whole, uh, what to say, traditional way of providing energy is changing. I think even in Ohio, there was some st stories that surfaced about the nuclear facilities up in Toledo, how they're going to care for the waste. And uh, so, when you look at, the, uh, at how how energy is provided to the masses, folks, you may see these stories changing because they're bringing it into the political arena. And if you don't, if you haven't been keeping an eye, the political arena is dirty. When it comes to votes, these people will do anything to get a vote. They will cater to. They will tell you things that you will start believing, and you will start. You will start thinking that there, that it, it can be done free, free, free. It, it, everything can be free. It, it, we we they'll drop one pro, folks. This is this is really, and that's story number one. How come? Here comes more saga and the climate change debate. Let's get to story number two. If you want to contribute anyway, you're in the media. It will be Brian West, where it's my supreme duty every week to give you the top eight headlines developing news stories. Have no fear, fellow citizens.